Basic words we giving you fits. <laughs> fits? I am. You just see the sweat beating. You're like, <sighs> I'm a ch- chassis, chess, jeez. <laughs> chess? I I already don't like oh, you as a guest. Man. Welcome back to another episode of Wording is Hard. Uh, <laughs> I can't believe you made this show knowing how hard it is for you. I struggle. This is your Batman. You are taking your fear and using it as your power. I'm Bruce Wayne. I, I, <laughs> I respect it. Before we start, I just want to say this water bottle is built like me and this one's built like to here. It was funnier when you did it. It was, camera. but y'all gonna get these jokes too. It was way funnier off camera, but I just needed the audience to You're know. You're beaming right now, because you. who did you meet today? I met Will Smith while you didn't. <laughs> you was just up here, and I bumped into Will Smith. He was eating Fig Newtons. He's a regular person. He's hungry. He's a he's Two at a time. He eat them stacked. I was like, this is the type of thing I do. You got time to take but you, my- you use Oreos. You use Fig Newtons. It's a completely different thing. Respect. And he already has shape. You it are does. just round. Okay, let's get to the words. Okay. Wording is hard is a game where we have five index cards. Each card has a different difficult word on it. And we are trying to say the words correctly, then figure out the definition of said word. Mm. And today, I have my very good friend, my brother, Mr. Kev on stage. Hello, friends. How are you today, Kevin? I'm excited to learn some words, man. You are going to get these words, fam. Let's, I'm, I, I can't wait to see you pronounce. The word, first word's going to be ant, and you're going to be like, oh. <laughs> I'm not. Ain't. Aunt. Why do you <laughs> like this? Get, uh, let's get this party started. All right, so, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get this thing kicked off right, right, real quick. All right, do I go first or you go first? Well, wait, real, real quick. Let me just give the people a, a little background about Kev on Sage. Kev on Sage has a lot of different shows. He has a lot of different podcasts. I owe him a, a debt of gratitude oh, for God. showing me how to Please stop. Just, just, just get stop. the game. No I one just, cares. No I was, cares. I was, listen, I, I, I do don't this want a compliment. It's weird, huh? Yeah, I It's hate like somebody it. sent you happy birthday for yeah. 10 minutes. Yeah, and then it's recorded. Yeah. Just move on. No, man. It's you're welcome, Kev, you're welcome. Move on. Kev saved my life. I I was on heroin. He found oh. me in that alley with the needle still in my arm, rubber band around my arm. It was just a like group of rabid <laughs> raccoons had held you at gunpoint. How did y'all even pick up a shotgun? We worked together. But Kevin is a wordsmith as well. Like a lot of my guests, he is a writer and creator of a lot of content. He makes videos daily, so he uses a lot of words. So this should probably be a cakewalk for him. However, I think with my wherewithal and my my. Uh, Astute knowledge of the English diction. I am going to come out of this the English diction. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I have not won anything. I don't it. believe. I, I'm not surprised by that at all. Wait. First, you said you don't believe it. Do you I don't. It? I don't believe you would have won, and oh. I'm not surprised by that at all. I don't think it's even been close. It, if you can get blown out in this game, I can see you getting blown out. I have been blown out a lot. I of bet. Balls. I bet. Not pause, but no sexual. Yeah. All right. Let's get it going. All I'll right. do the first word. Uh, we, we don't look at them first. Put it up. Put it oh, up. Okay. We don't look at the word oh, first. Sorry. No, you don't you, look at it until you it's your turn. You tell me how it works. I am. I just told you. I, you told I, I gave the whole, messed up. Yeah, I mean, you know, sometimes it's a learning curve. You didn't introduce her and what she's doing. We haven't started yet. Just give me a second. Now, as you said, Maya is here to make sure that we are on track, and she's also going to tell us if we're close to the word or we are completely off key, and she's also going to be keeping score. Okay. All right? Got it. Here we go. So can I look at your word when you reveal yeah. that? Okay. Yeah, that's okay. First word. Oh, got this. Psyche. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The psyche is like understanding someone's mental process or thought pro- pattern. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Why don't you finish eating the peanut butter before you start this? This is kind of where, this is where I'm from. The it's- mental, what was up there? What was up there that got in the way? Starbucks. Uh. It's this paper on a Starbucks <laughs> when I ate it. It was an old one. It was in my back backpack, yeah. and I found it after. So psyche is like the the mental process of the. That's correct. Of someone. <clears throat> now I'm gonna read the census. <clears throat> the problem is not in your life, but in your psyche. Nice. So if you think that you could put the food down, then you can, and you'll mm, be able to lose weight. My psyche life. jacked up. <laughs> my psyche high on beef brisket. My my psyche don't help at all. You understand me? <laughs> Basaki likes my body. My turn now? Yes. Caveat. Oh. Okay, caveat. You didn't even. 
I flinch with that. No, because I know what a caveat is. It's like, okay, to here, uh, oh, you can lose a lot of weight, but one caveat is it's never gonna happen. Small <laughs> caveat, meaning like a like a a thing of note, uh -huh. like something I should make you aware of. Gotcha. Uh, caveat is like, oh man, you're just, you know, you're gonna be a great stand-up comedian. Small caveat, you won't be able to pronounce regular words that other people can. Gotcha. gotcha. But other than that, mm -hmm. you're gonna be great. Like you're going to be even more wealthier than you are, mm -hmm. right? But you're always gonna be shaped like that. That's Small caveat. caveat. Small caveat. Man boobs aren't Man gonna go anywhere. They are not. Even when you lose weight, Quick question be. though. Yes. Honest opinion. Mm -hmm. Would you judge me if I got plastic surgery? On what? Man boobs. No. You wouldn't? No, I know a lot of guys that suffer with, they lose weight and- No, I'm not talking about loose skin. I'm just talking about avoiding working out. I don't even think I'll have a loose skin problem. I just wanna kinda cut to the chase. I mean, if you can afford it, who am I to say anything? Right, cool. Ladies do it all the time. That's what I've been saying, they but apparently it it's not popular. We made so much fun of Kanye for that. Women do it all the time, and they, they get the body shape thing. They have to wear this piece of plywood yeah. in their front and their back, and they have to tape it to their <laughs> chest, plywood. and they got to... <laughs> they got to do it. Women do it all the time, they so I, I understand. I'm, I wouldn't even be mad at you. Okay. Now, we'll let you know the jokes are going to be there. They are going to be signed, sealed, and Jokes delivered. are there now. This is true. So it will be no different for you. I want drawn on abs. I want to look like Terry Crews when I'm done. Well, let me tell you something. You will never look like that. I would. I want muscles in my head like Terry Crews. I want this. You're not going to. All over my body. You have a meaty head. <laughs> that that looks like a meat avalanche. <laughs> this, this is uh, bratwurst. You know the Johnsonville pack? <laughs> it's it, it like if you put a do-rag on a pack of ham. <laughs> With some wave grease, that's what it would look like on your head right there. A do rag on a pack of ham is yes. funny. All right. Let's get to the second word. All right. Let's do it. That was just a disturbing visual. I don't know. Did you guys catch that? Did you, uh, get, you hope did somebody you punch did. It? Ugh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you have kids? You got kids. Somebody oh, consent. My whole joy is to embarrass them. Ugh. I want them to go to school and like, oh, what did you dad. do? <laughs> you made a video. You were just shirtless mm -hmm. a couple days ago. Ugh. Cause I thought I saw an ad, but it was just. It was I a, reported it. It was a gas pocket. I reported that video. <laughs> I was like, this is not <laughs> safe. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Break it down. Sometimes you have to. Yeah. Small caveat: you're not gonna be able to pronounce that. You crazy? <laughs> but now I gotta do it because you got it. I can't do. Come on, take your time. Cartographer. Cartographer, yeah. Ha! He <laughs> I am impressed. Well, I mean, you know, sometimes I be reading. You didn't do a cartographer? No. No, I wasn't going to do that. Immediately wow. my mind went there, but like I feel like that would only be the word if we were living in like Looney Tune world. <laughs> like if we were cartoons, that yeah. would be how you pronounce it, but because right. we humans, like <laughs> it would not be cartographer. That's right. good. Uh cartographer is Someone that only takes pictures of cars. Oh, God. Or shopping carts. Is that? <laughs> Not at all. Okay. <laughs> well, why would someone only take pictures of shopping carts? Sometimes, like, I, there are companies that would only make shopping carts, and they'd be like, oh, man, we need to get a photographer in here so they can see the new model. <laughs> this one is easier on the back because it has a higher handle. No way. <laughs> Why not? My whole job. What do you do? I take pictures of shopping carts. Why do we need pictures of shopping carts? Okay, let me ask you this. When you go to a regular grocery store, right? Yes. And you push in the car, you be like, man, I wish this car just like, moved in all directions. Ikea found a cartographer and they was like, hey, man, we have, <laughs> we have <laughs> these new carts where the wheels are multi-directional. No one like, needs the front a shopping wheels? cart with all-wheel drive to here. Why not? Why do you need it? How, how rough is your shopping? Have you been to Ikea? You see yeah. how crowded it is? Sometimes you don't have time to make a three-point turn. You go to Ikea court. for them meatballs. Don't don't tell me you're going there looking at furniture. You go right to that cafeteria with a shopping cart full of food and you leave. Okay, let me ask you this. Yeah. Have you had those meatballs? That's why I know. Well, that's, that's, why, exactly, that's why I brought exactly, it up. Exactly. So shut up. All right. Yeah. It's my turn? No, I have to read the sentence first to see oh, if I'm yes, correct. You're absolutely off. The cartographer is in the countryside taking notes. So he... he What's what's what supermarket is in the countryside? Isn't a cartographer a person who helps make maps? Yes. Okay, that's what I thought. How do you know this? Because Why do you know this? Because I went to college. I went to college. You say one thing about Harry, my <laughs> To here went to Harriet Beecher Stowe Elementary College in St. Louis, Missouri, on the second floor of a stables. 
and nobody told him it was just a broom closet. You didn't notice no other students were coming in and out. Nothing clicked. Nobody, you know, you no, no mascot, no books. We had a mascot out of the hornet. <laughs> It's just nobody ever got in the That suit. was just a hornet's nest that yeah. people left alone to hear. You know what's crazy is that we, we did have lockers. <laughs> in college? Not, nothing clicked. It's nothing a, clicked. It's an HBCU, so it's old. Like, Harris Stowe, it was, it was Harris, Harris Teachers College, and then Stowe's Teachers College, and then when segregation How ended. How did you go to a teacher's college and not learn words? I didn't take education. As a what major. do you take in college? I didn't take education as a major. It was a teacher's college. It was Harris Stowe. It used to be Harris Stowe Teacher's College. What did you take as a major? Gravy? <laughs> yeah, I got country. I got a minor in country. That's the white with the peppercorn. So <laughs> you do know brown. there are multiple types of course. Types. Okay. You can't have a chicken fried steak without country gravy. Right. Brown gravy on the brown. So if I had to gravy, though, like you would be impressed because you would want some. I would. Because you don't even know how. I bet you don't know how to make gravy from scratch. Mm-hmm. How? You 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 got you cook the meat. You, you cook you, the meat. You, you take, you take you, the meat. You, you, I've seen it done. No, <laughs> you need a cast iron skillet. You, you cast some, iron, cast some iron. Flour you, in there. you take the meat. No, you make a roux. You don't you know have how to spell to do roux. Do you know how to spell roux? Yes. How? What? How do you spell roux? Wait, what are you saying? Roux, the roux that you make for gravy for gumbo. How do yes. you spell that? Spell it. Ara. Yes. What else? Keep going. You right. <laughs> R O U X. That's exactly how I was. Of course, about. it is to hear. Anyway, my turn. Yes, unfortunately. Arcane. Yes. Do you know what it is? You know what? <laughs> <laughs> you listen to all that big talking I, to me, <laughs> and now the next word. So listen. Punched you in the this stomach. This is what happens. Uh-huh. Your grandma and grandpa both got bad hips. Uh-huh. They're like, hey, could you grab Arcane? It's going to be my turn first, and then you hand it. When I get to the car, you take it back up to Nana, and then she go, she go take it back down. You look at her so she can look at you disappointingly. Don't, okay, let me let me use context clues. Uh, read the read the. You can Arcane. Read, you can oh, read I can read this? You read the sentence for context clues. Yes. Oh, okay, before yeah. she tells me? Yes. Okay. Read it aloud. So I'm, I, I, you had to sound it out? This is a lot of stuff. I want to, I want to just double check. His Arcane reference confused many of the listeners. Okay, so here's what I'm going to This was my context clues. I feel like it's derived from the word archaic, uh-huh. so maybe it means old. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to say it has something to do with being old, and in my context clues, his old references confuse many of the listeners. I don't know. That's really it. close. It's obscure and known to only a few. It's like your cholesterol. It's a few and your doctor. Context who clues. Is constantly worried about your health. That's why I'm drinking this. <laughs> He said my acid levels were through the roof. Yeah. He yeah. said I had a lot of stress. Well, I mean, I can see that. Read your word to here. Okay. I'm just saying I understand shopping for bras. You gonna get this not... one wrong. All right. Just know this. Is that how you gonna? No matter you what, go... you gonna get. You ain't gonna be pronounce this right. You look like the biggest bottle of Pepto Bismol. <laughs> like if whales needed Pepto Bismol. <laughs> Can you imagine a whale in CVS? Like, man, my stomach hurt. I had some bad cream. I don't know what is up with this. Climate change, am I right? And you know what? You know what would come in handy? A good cartographer because they like (laughs) they know what stores had the best carts for them. You imagine a whale just walking on his tail, just all his head to the sky. Just pushing a cart with his tail feet. He's in C V S. I see what you, you did. You got right? it? Yeah, it uh, was not good. All right. Oh, God. Oh, Yannick. Yannick. Yoinick. What did I say? Yannick. But it's, I'm going to give you half. How are you going to give him that? She said half. I got oh, the, half. Okay. I got yeah. the nick. I got right. a pass. I got the nick. <laughs> that says yo neck. My bad. Yoinick? That's how it's pronounced? Like yoiny. Yoinick. Okay, let me uh, just, I have nothing. That's Icelandic. I, oh, this is Sonic's dad. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. That's Kyle L to Jor L. <laughs> this is a, is a level on the second, second Sonic that if you hit the rings just right, you'll bust through the water, right? And you'll meet Yannick. Yannick? <laughs> <laughs> He's a. Uh, he doesn't run as much now. He Tahir just... is built like Dr. Robotnik, too. 
You look just like him. You look like you'll be in a spaceship like, walk? I'm not going to chase my, <laughs> chase no hero straight up on feet. You see how fast he is? Sonic is too fast for anybody yeah, to check. Dr. Robotic was like, man, we are not going to be running Absolutely out here. Absolutely not. Spaceship. You ever seen somebody <laughs> run for real and they're like, pew? Like, no, it doesn't happen, but Sonic makes it happen. Absolutely. So, yes. All right. Uh, the Yannick Jim looks great on her. Just based off of my context clues, uh, I think Yannick is derived of archaic. So I'm just going to be this old, uh, outdated. Um, maybe only a few people know about it. It's the female equivalent of phallic. So if something is shaped like a vagina. Uh, oh, that's what yoni eggs come from? You I ain't never seen that on Shade Yes, Rose, I've seen the little yoni eggs. The yoni eggs. You be making yoni egg omelets. <laughs> I didn't want to say nothing in there because I didn't know how to pronounce it either. <laughs> All I thought it was yoni eggs, but I didn't want to be wrong. And I actually, I owe you apology. These are some new words. I'm like, what? I thought it was going to be like travesty and stuff. <laughs> like, this is, this is some tough. Listen, this is, what I'm at so, the back of the dictionary. We had, like, what we had Segway, and I, I had recently <laughs> seen it, but I still forget. I'm like, Segway ain't spelled like it should Segway be. Segway ain't spelled it's like segui. nothing is supposed to be. Like, Suga. <laughs> Like, well, bring that sugar on over here. <laughs> um, grandma, you we all sugar. You was like, oh. I'm not ready. <laughs> but, but there it is. Oh, okay. Sheesh. Oh, I did that one. Uh -huh. This is my name. Yes, that is. On stage. What? How? Wait. Oh, no, that's not what I thought it was. I thought that was just. Man. Yes, yeah, you use the card to sign it out. You man. cover half of the word and try to figure that one out. I'm gonna go with acerbic. Yes. That's right. Why are you good? You I was just like, can't be ace ar ace arbic. Nah. Now acerbic. Whoo! You talking about? I got another. I That's mean, like, you talking about. You know, I see some, these as letters. You see somebody, you ever see somebody start a fight with somebody and you be like, oh, he shouldn't have did that. You don't oh want to make eye contact, but you also don't want to miss it. You just be like, like, man, I don't feel as confident in my intelligence as I as I'll I did before what, I started. That that shirt ain't helping. <sighs> the brain is pink. Yeah, but so are pigs. <laughs> Come All on right. now. Oink your way out of this. <laughs> her acerbic tone upset her apologetic husband. Oh, context clues should give me that. Man. It's, it gives you the contrast in there. Acerbic tone. I'm upset? Sort of rough, rude. Rough, rude. Think acidic. acidic. That's what I was thinking. What rough. is the base word of acerbic? Like, as, like, like, I, you, know how your, you know how your neck under here is all bumpy and rough and just coarse? You think know that. You know that think, think I'm that. really insecure about it. You know that. Sharp. Think like sharp, but not in a quick way. You know that to hear. All jokes aside, he knows how that makes you feel. Okay? So let's just. You guys talk about my Let's dad just, not being in my life and me having a kid at 14, but oh, you can't have a couple of razor bump jokes? Fair. Yeah. Jesus. Get out. You deserve that fake kid at 14 because you were having real sex. You should have been studying. What about matches? I cannot find it. Like, <laughs> Get out. I'm going to finish this episode like this. I don't need this in my life. Hey. The beard hey. is supposed to hide it, but it don't go down far enough. Oh, around. It don't come around that corner. If I could grow a whole beard and yeah. never shave, I promise you. I ah, man, that's the whole reason I don't shave. Because when I shave my face, I get them, like, here. And it's not all the time, but it's enough to be like, oh, I'm ugly. <laughs> you don't need the shave to look at that. You wake up and brush your teeth, you got to see that face every day. So you, you just going to go? You look like Pumbaa. <laughs> if Pumbaa was a man, you were the live-action human version of Pumbaa. This is why they stop you every time you walk in 7-Eleven. Like, sir, put those nasty cr crunch back. Get them off your chin and put them back on the shelf. 
And you got to pay for it because, you know, we took them out of the rabbit. You be like, what are you talking about? Take the Nessie Crunch Bars off your goddamn neck, sir. I'm sick of it. Every time you come in here, you leave out with 13 on your neck. That was good. Yeah, you brought that on yourself. I don't like your subject tone. <laughs> Sharp and rough. Oh, come on. Is this a real word? <laughs> I know what that is. I, I got it. I'm a, can I help you? No. Let me help you. No, I can't take your help because we're keeping score. Okay, just pronounce it. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to give you context clues. Okay, wait. Because mm. the first thing you pronounce is the way, that's what you get the point off of. So I have okay. to make sure I say it right. There's nothing in there. <laughs> I'm trying to think if I had heard it in the song just, or something. There's just recipes in there. You, okay, a quart of flour, okay. A quart of flour? A quart of flour, two sticks. What are we, of, is it going sticks. in the engine? It doesn't matter what you're making. It starts <laughs> off with two sticks of whole butter. Buttermilk. Butter and buttermilk? Yeah. It's toast, I know, but I should really want to agree. <laughs> this word is nebbish. Gang signs out the window, nebbish. Open all of them opinion, there, bitch. That's really good. You're really quick to be so heavy. <laughs> I guess it's quick I with it. like an office lion. <laughs> I'm be surprised to be agile. His nipple is hell. <laughs> so swift. I wasn't expecting that. Um, Nebish is um, Nebish is like when. I'm going to read the sentence just to see. Her nebbish boyfriend was quiet all evening. That gave you nothing. He, That's just he a was, word you don't know in a sentence you don't know. That's literally <laughs> you absolutely nothing. Someone nebbish is someone reserved, uh, kind of shy, maybe recluse acting. That's sort of, Yes, it's timid, submissive. He did know. This dude is Frank the Tank right now. He's completely blacking out. Frank the Tank! <laughs> you don't play Scrabble, you play Scramble. All right, that's enough <laughs> fat jokes. I'm getting sick of it. All right. How, have you pronounced everyone correctly so far? Except Yoinik? Yeah. Yes. Are we tied? Well, we, we uh, find out at the end. Oh, we find okay. out at the end, because right. you haven't even done your next one. All right, here we go. Your shirt, it's getting caught under your breast. Finite. Easy. How are you getting this? Finite. Your words are... I like words. No, I, I'm saying like you. No, you no, I would have. Yeah, no, I didn't. I know word. finite, so I had to take finite math my freshman year in college. Really? Mm-hmm. So finite meaning, um, hmm. So infinite is the opposite of finite. So finite meaning like, how do I put this? Like a there is a certain amount. There is a certain amount of this. There's a finite mm -hmm. number of this, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah. Correct? Let me read the sentence. Oh, I'm sorry. He warned his daughter that his bank account was finite and they couldn't afford a pony. I there mean, that's, that's fair. Yeah. That's fair. <clears throat> now, when you come to the buffet, they're like, hey, hey, I know we said all you can eat, but it's finite <laughs> for you. So you just, six, six whole chickens, sir. I mean, really, do you need the seven? <laughs> suggested all you can eat. You're really trying. You're really trying to yeah. do it. Yeah. <laughs> I told you the same thing about the caps. I was like, we know this just says one size fits all, but I want to tell oh, you. Oh, caps. Yes. Yes. And see, when you don't speak clearly, the jokes don't come. Let's just let's just finish. I met Will Smith. He's probably texting me now. I just your head is large. I spent a lot of time here. Okay. After I met Will Smith, it's really bringing. Are you my wearing a helmet? Or your head is just saving. I was with Will Smith an hour ago. Now I'm with you. So obviously, I don't want to be here anymore. I'd rather be looking at the picture of Will Smith than, than making and remembering this video. the good time. <laughs> exactly, like man, I was doing that. I'm gonna flag that picture. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna report that I'm picture. I'm already getting right it now. tattooed on my I'm back. Getting, I, I'm already sent it to a tattoo guy. I am going to. I'm, I'm you can't take you. it. It's in my mind. The same way you remember your first biscuit. <laughs> you remember your first brisket. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Oh, you can't give me something like this and I eat at a place like this. Mm -hmm. Your mommy. What did you say? Hmm? Umami. 
You said you mommy. Who mommy? <laughs> but you said Nope. Not what I said at all. Said umami. Your mommy. Okay, it's umami. Damn right it is. You don't know what that means. What? I yes, don't I think do. umami burger has anything to do with it. See, that's what you're wrong. That's what you're thinking of. Man. Food has everything to do with it. Okay. I'm gonna read the sentence first and then I'm gonna tell you what it means. This portobello burger has a delicious umami taste. Now it is. I, the word burger is actually in there. Let me let me tell you what umami really means, because obviously you're lacking in a certain area of knowledge when it comes to life. Umami means. <laughs> I mean, when you really, you really like break it down <laughs> to the very last compound. Umami yes. basically. Like in layman's terms, breaks down to <laughs> grilled. <laughs> grilled? This, this portobello burger has a delicious grilled taste. It's kind of just what I substituted it for. Survey says? No, it's not okay, grilled. Cool, it's not but that. it is a type of taste. So we have sweet, sour, salty, and bitter, and umami is the fifth. So what, so what the, does that taste like? It's like a, a mushroom or meaty. Oh, like oh. kind of earthy. Is it a texture or a feel? It's a type of flavor. Hmm. The only thing earthy that I eat is like beets. You, you know beets you come from the earth. You dirt, though. Yeah. What? You beat dirt straight. <laughs> Just go get my nutrients straight I up. I eat dirt like that? Is that what you <laughs> say? <laughs> you make that sound. Just crunch right through the rocks. That's how you eat your cereal still in the box. Let me finish this All right. so I can get back to Will. <laughs> he doesn't like you. He you have a picture you. with him? Contortion. Yes. He's a contortionist, which means now you're he, can, stuck. he can fold his arms and legs into silly ways like a pretzel is a contorted piece it's of dough. It always comes back to food, Always it? comes back to what you know. You're a contortionist at food. <laughs> For the BLT on top of a burger. Was that your last word? That was. Just want to tally them up here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We still have the sentences to do. Sentences? Yes. Yeah, so oh, there's each, more? We each have one strongly worded or difficult sentence. Oh, to read. this is fantastic. Wait, wait, wait. And we have 10 seconds to read it with as little errors as possible. You go first. I need to get my confidence up to see you stumble through these. You want to change your shirt first? No. Okay. You're fine with that whole outfit. Actually, I'll, I'll go first. You sure? Yeah. You got a lesson. Three, game. two, one. What do you do when an obstreperous horde of drunken policemen goes carousing through your hotel, crashing into potted plants and singing vulgar songs? I probably messed up obstreperous and, you know, carousing. Probably you did it. Up. You did it uh, obstreperous. That was right? That was right, and you did it in under 10 seconds. Boom! Yeah, that's which I'm not excited about reading. My that was, I would, that these was are words movie. I have not seen. That was, I don't know movie. what obstreperous horde of drunken policemen goes. I don't, that, I, obstreperous horde? Noisy and difficult to control. Oh. Yeah, I mean, because what you gonna do, tell the cops to quiet down? No. You quiet down. <laughs> carousing or yes, carousing? Sir. Carousing. Goes carousing through your hotel? Carousing. Oh, I was right. So I didn't make any mistakes there. You didn't no. make any mistakes. Oh, this is why I met Will Smith. The real reason is that guy was hoping he would say something to you that sparked something healthy in your life. <laughs> That's you not literally what the Lord, went to the Lord didn't want that. milkshake. You know how long I looked at them Oreos out there when nobody was out there? Cameron came back in here and I was by myself. I took my pants off. It's just like we finna get to the get to the nitty gritty. You hear me? It's about to go <laughs> down. All right. Good luck to hear. Three, two, one. He could endure his financial failure, but he could not bear the calumny that his foes heaped upon him. Calumny. Mm. But with your handicap. <laughs> I'm from Peter Butter, Maryland. <laughs> Everybody got talk about it. got peanut butter in their mouth. Oh my gosh. Calumny? What is it? 
Calumny. It means slander. These are new words, though, to hear. These, With you all don't due see respect. The, you don't see these These are lot. new to me. They are never on the McDonald's menu. And now I know, because I know when they make all the changes. I know when a McRib is coming back, I get alerts. Oh, my God. And I've never seen that word <laughs> on any of the menus. <laughs> not at Sonic, not at Red oh, Lobster. Severus, cal- cal- Calumny. This is a lot. It's a lot. All right. Well, um, Maya's going to tally up and tell us who is the victor. Well, that won't take long. <laughs> it was Kev like on stage. Kev on stage got a perfect score. It's all about pronunciation, not Pronoun- the definition. Pronounced everything right mm. and everything right in my sentence. So so what is what's this? And you got an A. An A? He did get an A. First time ever. Yes. That's why I met Will Smith and the rest of you guys were here. Are you are you done? I'm. I just got this. I've got three years minimum on that picture alone. Do you understand? Are you, gonna, are you, do you get afraid? Do you understand how long I'm going to milk this? We're just getting. It happened today. Yeah, I know. You got years of this. I can tell you're excited because uh, you're lactating. <laughs> Shirt is wet as hell. Your breasts are just leaky. leaky I was a leaky. straight A student, guys. Were you really? Yes. Good to, I, I I slept halfway through college, still graduated with 3.5. I graduated with 3.7. Well. Say one more thing about my college. Considering. I'm a, I'm a slap a beard on the back of your neck. <laughs> one of your classes was colors. <laughs> Red. It was an art conception class. Good job to hear. Blue. Mm-hmm. You good boy. <laughs> professors don't feed you animal crackers when you do good to hear. Your professors <laughs> don't feed you animal crackers. Because you went to PWI. I did. Yeah. And I regret it every day. Yeah. How about that? You didn't help any blacks. You went to an H Big CU. <laughs> you only went to the PWI because they had you more food You went to options. a heavy, big college and university. <laughs> <laughs> Your PWI was patty melts with insulin because that's what you need right now. Patty. All right, guys, this has been another episode of Wording is Hard. I'd like to thank my guest, Mr. Kev on stage. Kev, you want to let them know what you got going on? What's anything well, going on? what I got going Thanks on Thanks so the much for watching. We will see you guys in the next episode. Check my Instagram for the it picture. Cut it, it out. Don't let them get it out. Let's cut the episode. I have <laughs> meeting Will Smith on my vision board accomplished.